Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up Xcode on your Mac so you can code in the C programming language. It is really simple. First of all, you need to make sure you have Xcode downloaded and installed. It can take a bit of time because it is quite big, so make sure you've got a bit of space. Free up, it'll take a few gig. So just search for App Store. So that's where you get it from. It is free, so no need to worry and just search for xcode obviously you will need an apple account and to be logged in pretty sure you already are if you've got a mac go to xcode you'll have an install button here mine says update because there's a new version now <laughs> 6 11.7 gigabytes i would download this version afterwards but once you've installed that and got it done just launch it up especially the first time that you launch it it may take long for it to open up that's just because it's setting up a few things in the background go to create a new xcode project and now in here what you want to do is so yeah i'll zoom in a bit so you can see and go to command line tool you want to make sure you've got mac os selected because command line tool is not available in multi-platform only in mac os so command line tool and then go down to here click next and for the product name, you just put the app, it's your application name. So I'm going to say test application. You need an organization identifier. If you do not have it, it will not let you proceed. So I'm going to put sonar system. If you put a space, it automatically puts a dash. And now choose your language. By default, you'll probably say something like Swift, because I'd already, you know, did, you know, I'd already done an application before this. It said C. So you just click language, go to C. Go to next and now this will pop up save it somewhere i'm going to go to the desktop this is probably going to be selected by default unless you know you need a git repository for it unselect this and click create and here we go so now that it has launched up if you go all the way to your left here main.c is the default file that has been created which is a c application which is denoted by the dot c extension if i click that and here we go here is the code for a basic c application and if we click the run button you can go also go to product run as well or you can do command b or command r to run it so if i just go to here click run and at the bottom we'll get this output of hello world momentarily so you just go away patiently and there we go hello world program ended with exit code zero that's fine that just refers to the return zero right here don't worry i will cover what all of this code does in more depth in a separate video this is purely a setup video i'll have setup videos for visual studio for compiling using the terminal for a bunch of other different you know environments so i'll have you covered and it'll be for different operating systems as well this is for mac i'll have stuff for windows and linux as well might even do something for android if i'm feeling really you know excited if you have any questions as usual just pop me a message and i look forward to seeing you in the next video